top sewing machines have a tie off menu. And I want to help you kind of understand how you use this and when to use it. So normally when you stitch, just a regular straight stitch, if you want to lock the stitches, you can do the reverse button and it's going to back up and, and go forward whenever you want it to. But do you know you can actually set the stitches to lock, kind of like in a little locking pattern all in the same similar hole at the beginning, at the end, or both. So what you're able to do is control when the machine is going to do the locking. So if these are on in the tie off menu, whenever you pick a stitch, so if you pick, for example, stitch number five, you'll see that that actually stays on. And as you sew, and I'm going to just slow this down just a little bit and use the start stop button. So as it starts, you're going to notice that it's going to start with just some stitches all in the same similar hole and then start with that particular stitch. Now to get it to end, you can use this button that is the reverse button, which is also the kind of the tie off button. So when you touch it, it will lock or I should say finish the pattern and then lock. So for example, if we pick a decorative stitch like 158, 158, Okay, notice that the tie off at the beginning and the end is still active. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. It will start with those locking stitches at the beginning and take off. So however long that I need this pattern to be, I can go ahead and stitch. But when I'm ready to have it end, touch the button and it will finish the stitch, lock it off and stop for you. So if you're doing a lot of decorative work or just need to have it locking at the beginning and end of a sequence, check out the tie off menu where you can leave that on at any given time. And, and don't forget, you can actually use this in with the programming and tie off like at the beginning of words or a combination of stitches as well.